everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm fired up. Fired up. Not in a bad way, in a good way. Let me, let me talk a little bit about why I'm fired up. So earlier this evening, I'm sitting on the computer uploading some video files for my YouTube channel, a project I've been working on. And since I shoot everything in HD, it takes a long time for those files to upload. So in the meantime, I went over to a, a forum and the topic of the forum was when you do your lead cast bullets, is it necessary to lube them or not lube them? My personal opinion, yes, you need to lube your bullets. Even though I've done videos in the past where I didn't lube them. And that was a, a specific scenario. That was an old beat up 38 special stub nose uh, gun hand me down I got like third generation the barrels already shot and uh, I was running some bullets through there that were not lubed um, but you know if you look behind me you see all these you know these are 44 mags these are all lubed my 45s my all my cast bullets are lubed anyway I get to reading on the forum and this one guy comes up and he's talking specifically about dropped it there. He's talking specifically about 158 grain semi wad cutter cast bullet, not lubricated. It's exactly what I'm holding in my hand. And I thought, okay, that's cool, fair enough, you know, because I've done it in the past, shot a not lubed bullet. Now I get to reading a little farther and the guy starts talking about the powder that he's using. He's using the Lion Unique. Okay, cool. That's what I use too. And uh, I run mine very uh, conservative. I run mine around four grains uh, for this bullet. And uh, if you go to, to uh, Alliant Unique's website for this bullet, they show their recommendation at 4.7 grains. Okay, now, so I'm running mine at four grains, which is under their recommendation, so it's on the conservative side. But anyway, I get to reading, and this guy's loading them at two grains. Two grains. You figure there's 7,000 grains of powder in a, in a pound. So at two grains, he's getting 3,500 bullets out of a single pound of powder. The first thought that I had in my head was, wow, does that bullet even have enough velocity to exit the barrel? Because at 4.7 grains, which is Alliance recommendation, they get approximately 820 feet per second. You know, my 4.0s, they probably run, I'm guessing 760, something, 750, 790, something. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't have a chrono. So I'm thinking at four, at two grains, is this guy, I mean, but he swears up and down that these bullets are very accurate. He said the recoil is very soft. He said his kids love to shoot them. He said he doesn't, he's never had a bit of problems with them. He's, uh, he doesn't lube them because they're such a low velocity. Um, my question would be, why doesn't he switch to a faster burning powder like Bullseye and run it at three grains or something, you know, if he really wants to save on powder. But in either case, today's video, my objective is not to make this a reloading video. My objective, I mean, I have plenty of those on my channel. Feel free to look at them. My objective is to basically make some bullets with this guy's load, take them out to the range tomorrow and see how they do. Now if it was anything on the hot side of the spectrum I wouldn't even touch the project at all. I wouldn't even consider trying it. But since they're on the low side, on the conservative side, I'm going to go ahead and take one for the team and go try it. Now, even with that being said, there's a lot of caution that has to be done because if this bullet goes out and it doesn't exit the barrel all the way 
and a, a follow-up shot comes behind it, not knowing that the bullet didn't exit, you could blow your gun up. So when I go to the range tomorrow, I'm going to be very observant about what's going on. Extremely observant. I'm going to be probably opening my cylinder, making sure, you know, and if I'm not opening the cylinder, I'm definitely making sure that I saw something hit down range. But uh, anyway, that's my focus for this video. We're going to find out what two grains of unique is going to do behind this bullet right here. I hope you enjoy the video, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow at the range. Okay, everybody. I just finished reloading these. So again, they're a 158 grain semi-wad cutter cast bullet. We're using two grains of Alliant Unique. I'll see you at the range tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Good morning, everybody. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here. I'm out at one of my local shooting areas. I have the bullet that I loaded last night, 158 grain uh, semi-wad cutter cast bullet with uh, two grains of Alliant Unique. And I have a 357 Smith & Wesson 4-inch revolver that I'm going to be using to shoot the target. Now, down range, oh, it's probably 20, 25 yards. I have a little uh, target over there. So I'm going to shoot that target and we'll see how these loads, uh, how they do. Okay everybody, there's the target down range. I taped up all the holes on the box. So we're going to take a look and see how these loads do. Try if I can get my camera to stay still. So bear with me. Here we go. I have a six shot group I'm going to shoot. All right, let's go take a closer look. Well, here's what we have. Looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, and six, it looks like. Because I didn't hit anywhere else on the box that I could see. And I heard all six of them hit. So, you know, for having three in there, it's not too bad. Those other three stragglers um, might be there because I used some old primers. I'm gonna go ahead and load some more up with uh, newer primers and see how they do. Okay, so I'm looking down the barrel of my gun and I don't see any signs of leading at all. Doesn't look bad at all. Okay, welcome back. Uh, I went down there and I marked with a Sharpie the shots that I had already took. And the next six rounds that you're going to hear are 158 grain Rainier jacketed hollow point copper coated bullets with 4.6 grains of unique. Okay, let's go take a closer look. Okay, so looks like the wind may have got us. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, you know, these six shots here 
are a normal load and these three were that two grain load you know and I had three stragglers but it it almost appears that that two grain load is more accurate than an average load I'm gonna have to do some more research into this okay everybody here's my final thoughts now I know I've said this many times but I'm gonna say it one more time two grains of Alliant Unique 158 grain lead semi wad cutter cast bullet okay here's my thoughts first thing is it was very fun to shoot second one quiet very quiet third one accurate the guy I was talking about on the forum, I think he said he was shooting a 25 yards and he was shooting a 2 inch group. He had a 6 inch barrel. I had a 4 inch barrel shooting a, about the same distance and those three bullets that you saw, they were probably, I don't know, 2 inches, 2 and a half. And then I had, of course, those three stragglers. Those stragglers might have been due to the fact that I was shooting old primers these primers that I loaded these with were old so I might do another shot with these with new primers and the powder was good but anyway my thoughts are for children like the guy said they would be excellent you know because it's like shooting a 22 um, the stopping power is very minimal I don't think they have much stopping power. I don't think that they would go through a piece of wood. You know, I don't know. They might, but barely. Um, but that doesn't take away the fact that they were fun to shoot. It, it was a good day out here at the range. You know, you can see my target over there. You know, you consider that I shot a total of 18 rounds, which was three six-shot groups, and I was able to recover 12 rounds. So that means I was able to recover two-thirds of what I shot. And to be quite honest, I didn't think that I was going to get that much payback, so to speak. I didn't think that I was going to be able to find the lead. I thought they were going to be gone. So I was pleasantly surprised about that. Um, another thing I recommend is if you're going to use this bullet, I recommend that you just go ahead and load it at 4.7 like Alliant recommends or if you're gonna be like me loaded a little lighter at four but you know when I when I give information like this about load data I want you to understand that I I'm asking you to do your own research okay go make sure you're doing your own research um, don't trust any information that I'm spitting out of my mouth or any video on YouTube for that matter do your own research um, at two grains I was kind of nervous about the bullet exiting the barrel or not. And they all they all did. They all went just fine. Didn't have no problems there. But I think if that guy's concern is to save on powder, he should look at getting a faster burning powder than unique. If he wants his charge weights to be small, maybe he should look at bullseye and run it about three grains. Or maybe red dot, which is a little faster than bullseye. Maybe he should run it, you know, at two grains of red dot. I don't know. I might play around with those loads in the future and see how they do. But in a nutshell, it was very fun. I think I'm going to continue to load mine at four grains. But uh, I might even make up a load, you know, a batch of these at two and a half or three grains or something just to come out and plink with, you know. If your objective is to come out and shoot paper and things like that, it's probably a good load for that but that's my thoughts I wanted to say thank you for all of you that might be viewing this video thank you for your support I appreciate it I appreciate you watching my channel I hope you guys have a good day feel free to leave a comment feel free to subscribe and go out there and do some shooting and be safe until then we'll talk to you next time bye bye Okay, everybody, I'm back. I went home. 
I reloaded some of these rounds. I got a fresh new target. I'm at a new shooting area. And what I did was I used the same load, two grains, Alliant Unique, and I put brand new Winchester primers. And uh, let's see how they, how they shoot. Well, it looks like they did pretty good. I had five shots, and I actually had one that misfired. Hope you can see that. I know sun's going down, but anyway, I had one that misfired. So let me take a closer look one more quick time. Looks like we had one. Two, three, four, five hits. Not too bad. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have two grains Alliant Red Dot Powder, Winchester Primers, 158 grain lead semi wad cutter cast bullet. Let's go take a closer look. Okay, so here's what it looks like with the Liant Red Dot at two grains. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The bullets did pretty good. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've got two grains, the Liant Unique, 158 grain lead semi wad cutter. And here we go. And while you're looking at that group, because I'm losing daylight, I'm going to reload with six more. I'm going to keep the camera filming. And here goes six more. Looks like they're holding a pretty good group. I have two more rounds and this will be the end of it. <clears throat> now let's go take a closer look. Well there you have it. There's the results. Looks like I need to either adjust my pistol, you know, my sights, because it's shooting to the left. And a little bit low, but that's to be expected with only two grains of powder. But it looks like it held a pretty good group right there. For the most part, pretty accurate little loads. But anyway, wanted to say that the... Uh, both charges, you know, the ones with the unique 
and the ones with red dot they both felt pretty good the red dot felt a little better but the unique seems to be more accurate so I kinda like this it's kinda fun fun for plinkin anyway thanks again for watching everybody I appreciate your support to my channel hope you guys go out and have some good safe shooting and thanks everyone again have a good day bye bye okay everybody I'm up here in my backstop area I'm losing daylight but I'm digging around and I found six of them six of my bullets anyway uh, I had fun with this project it was it's they're fun to shoot they really are